half a billion dollars worth of changes in Spokane on the line this election. And in just weeks, you'll be able to voice your vote. It's a very unique situation, unique to Spokane, something we probably won't see happen again. You'll have the chance to weigh in on new schools, a new stadium, even new libraries, thanks to an historic partnership in Spokane. The city, schools, and libraries are teaming up and asking you to decide what's next for Spokane's future. You'll see three separate measures on the November ballot, all part of a partnership between three groups. Our Taylor Graham has been giving you in-depth reports all week on these bonds. She's live at the Shada Library tonight with more on the final piece of the puzzle. Taylor? Nadine, Aaron, you'll be voting on the City of Spokane Bond Proposition 1. It calls for $77 million worth of improvements and additions to the Spokane Public Library System. Tucked away in the corner of the downtown Spokane Library branch sit Lance Rhodes and his fiance Crystal. It's peaceful and it's relaxing here and we're not at home. Life's chaos is fading away in the peace and quiet. We can actually focus on all the stuff that we need to find. It's, it's really hopeful. As Lance looks for a job and they get ready for the birth of their baby. Paying bills and uh, getting ready to see what we can do about our, our new arrival that we just found out about. So we're the library has taken on a whole new meeting for them this year. Not just a place to browse for books, but a place to plan for the future, similar to what the Spokane Public Library is doing now. It's gearing up for Election Day, asking voters to approve a $77 million bond for three new libraries and renovations to four others. Every neighborhood is really going to see an impact from this. If Prop 1 passes, we'll see new libraries at Liberty Park, across from the Libby Center, and by Shaw Middle School. Two or three more of these 24-7 library kiosks and the Shadle Library, Spokane's busiest branch, would nearly double in size to 30,000 square feet, while the downtown, Indian Trail, and South Hill libraries get upgrades. A lot of people ask, like, oh, well, we have these new buildings, what about the books? The answer? Two million dollars set aside in the bond for new books, ebooks, and DVDs. More access and materials for families like Lance and Crystal's. And more places to plan for the future. Without these kinds of resources, a lot of people wouldn't, they, they would have really nowhere to go to. Now, the construction of some of those new libraries is dependent on if the Spokane Public Schools bond Prop 1 passes. For more on that, you can head to KXLY.com. There we've got all of our in-depth reports on each of these ballot measures. Live from Spokane tonight, Taylor Graham, KXLY 4 News.